In this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to fix up eyes. We're going to be using the Healing Brush tool, which can be selected here. It's important to keep it small. I like to use a Wacom tablet, but you can also use a mouse if you prefer that. Now, you want to make sure that when you select the skin, which you do by holding down the Alt button, and notice the icon changes. This means you're going to be selecting skin from this area. Don't select skin from here or here because it has a lot of texture and we're going to be working here which doesn't have a lot of texture so rather I'm going to take a skin sample from either here or in here. Now since I'm using a Wacom tablet I have much more control over my brush movements. And you want to just con start right on the line itself and just little strokes at a time. This way if you mess up you can always click undo. You can also always do this on another layer. I've been doing it for so long that I know I'm not going to need to go back. And you just continue working it like this. And if you need to take skin texture from here to kind of match it, then that's fine and then take it from there. I'm usually always resampling my skin texture over and over again to match where I want it. I'm also going to get rid of that little piece of hair just because it's in the way. It doesn't add to the overall photo. You know, notice that by taking away these wrinkles, it makes the skin or the person itself look a lot younger. You can actually even leave a little bit of that line in there if you wanted to. But instead I'm just going to smooth the line out. So you just continue working the lines until they all disappear. Now if you're working for a magazine, which I, which I do sometimes, you also want to be sure to smooth out all the skin anyway, even further than, I'm going to take some sampling here, even further than just using the healing brush tool. Other people are more cautious about their skin, let's say working for something like a wedding or something like this, which I do as well. Sometimes the people are, are cautious about how you change their photo and they don't want to look too different. So you want to just make very little adjustments. Now I take a big soft brush. big soft brush. You want to make sure its hardness is zero. And I'm going to turn it up to really big, about like so. Now I have it about 17% opacity and it's on normal brush. I'm going to take some of the normal skin tone to kind of get rid of the other color here and also smooth it out just a bit. You can also do this on lighten or soft light too or color but this is how I usually do it because I want to soften the face out right there as well, especially over here. Now this is really smooth, so if I wanted to, I can actually add a little bit of skin back into it here, texture, because I did smooth it out quite a bit. Now for a magazine cover, that's actually a good thing, but sometimes people cautious about how their skin looks. So I'm just add a little bit of skin texture back and then remove some of it to blend it in. Now if you wanted to you can also get rid of the eye color but that is the it's kind of not so white. We can make that whiter but for now I'm going to call this done just because I wanted to show how to remove the wrinkles in the eyes.